What's going on guys, it's Paula one and today we have for you a search and destroy Moab on Modern Warfare 3, a very impressive gameplay indeed, something that's been done several times before, um, but doesn't take away the fact that it's extremely impressive because not many people have this and uh, it's pretty sick. Now this one isn't solo, believe it or not, there have been solo search and destroy Moabs, but um, this one's still pretty good. He uh, is using the strategy of Riot Shielders, a very popular strategy that's done in a lot of different situations, not just search and destroy Moabs. Yes, I just voice cracked. That was pretty bad. But yeah, there's it's a good strategy. You can do it, you know, I we used to do it when back in uh, Modern Warfare 3 when uh, Clan Ops were really fun. We had different strategies where we'd use Riot Shielders, and there's different things you can use Riot Shielders for, and this is a perfect example. Basically, they just protect him. They go around him, they, they call out enemies, and they don't get any kills, so he can get all the kills. And uh, Carnage Bros managed to pull off a search and destroy Moab. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this gameplay. If you want to check out his channel, it will be down in the description below. He doesn't very uh, post very often anymore, but he will be back when Advanced Warfare comes out. So if you guys want to subscribe to him and uh, be ready for like when Advanced Warfare comes out to see his videos then, that'd be cool. But like I said, he doesn't post at all right now. So now today I had an interesting topic that I, I'm really interested on. It's really weird. So just <laughs> be prepared for that. Um, but that is the recent solar blast that came from the sun. Now, if you guys didn't know, basically the sun had kind of like these eruptions or what they're called solar blasts that have, I believe that's what they're called, but they, they're like you know, huge, massive blasts of fire and, and energy and all that kind of stuff that come from the sun. It just like shoots out miles and miles, probably hundreds of miles because it's so big, obviously. And uh, it, it, it's dangerous. It's dangerous for a lot of different reasons and it can mean a lot of different things. Um, now, don't worry, the sun's not going to blow up. This has happened before, but these are like record scale. They're huge. And, and basically, we're going to be seeing some effects from the solar blasts here uh, probably in the next month or so, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, it de just depends on how long it takes those the energy and the blast for all that kind of stuff to get to Earth and, and, and interfere with everything on Earth. So basically, as you guys know, there's only one side of the Earth that faces the sun at a, at a certain time. We don't know which side of the world is going to be facing towards the sun, it's going to be daytime, we don't know what side of the world is going to be daytime when this, uh, this solar blast or the, you know, the remnants of it hits Earth. So whatever, you know, whatever side is facing it, it's going to deal with interference with radio waves and TVs and, and all that kind of stuff, satellites, so hopefully no satellites like fall from the sky or planes or anything like that. Uh, I guess not planes, but hopefully nothing too bad happens, but it is going to interfere with a lot of signals and stuff, um, but nothing to the point where it's like hurting anybody, I don't believe, unless something bad happens, but uh, I don't think it's to that scale. But that brings on an idea that is kind of scary, and I'm not trying to scare anyone through this this whole topic, it's just to get you guys thinking. What happens when there's a, a huge, huge, massive, 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 massive explosion that comes from the sun, and it projects something so massive, so large, that we'll be able to feel it? And when I mean feel it, not, you know, shaking the world or anything, but the heat. What if, what if a solar blast is so big that it, it generates so much heat that it could be like days and days, but later we end up feeling it and it, it makes half, you know, whatever side of the world is facing the sun, it heats that side up to like 250, 300, 400 degrees. That could be really bad if you think about that. And that's something that would kill everybody on that side of the world uh, for the most part. I don't even know. I mean, that would set things on fire. I'm pretty sure that would be so hot. I actually, I could be wrong, but it, it would definitely damage a lot of things like severely obviously that would kill people if they were outside i don't know if you like air conditioned your house and made it really cold i don't know if that would be enough or like if you went to your basement you'd have to obviously everyone have to go to their basement you'd have to like have like air conditioning units and things heat that to that extreme it would affect everything on that side of the world it could destroy things that help make air conditioning units run and how long would it be that hot would it how long would it take for it to get back to normal i don't know and that just brings on a whole idea there's a lot of things that you can know uh that you can debate and, and predict and say that this is the way it would be but I just thought about that and I thought that was kind of scary I hope that never happens but I don't know it, it would be interesting if that were to happen and it, like if that were to happen what if going to your basement was enough and then it lasted long enough that you could never keep yourself cold enough for that long there would be like a massive like a huge exodus like the other side of the world to get there before this happened and that would just be awful that would cause so many different problems like let's say let's say you know it happened to the other side of the world like china russia that area and everyone had to fly over to the united states in order to literally survive the united states would obviously shut off their borders most likely because that would just be so bad they 
uncontrolled amount of people coming in that would be literally change the whole world forever uh it would mess up so many things and the thing is that's a life or death situation that would be awful to close it but that's you know that would that's probably what would happen the thing is those countries it's not like they would actually obey that and like what if they just sent people anyways they just started sending planes over to like you know south america and north america just sending people over once they got into the airspace would like they send pilot jets to like shoot them down or what would happen because like if terrorists like imagine a huge amount of terrorists getting in one plane and just coming over intending to do bad you wouldn't be able to there would be no regulation there'd be no there would be nothing there would just be like a huge exodus just people coming over like crazy and boats and everything and there would be no there would be no guidance or, or um there'd be no regulations and i just thought that would be like that would be insane that would be crazy that would be really really bad not only for the fact that the sun could like destroy half the world but also the whole idea that comes along with that the effects that it, it starts a chain reaction so it's an interesting thought i know this is kind of a weird commentary topic but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think what would happen if this the sun decided to shoot off huge solar flares and scorch half the world what do you think the cause would or the effect would be of that it's just a weird commentary topic i know but i'm kind of interested on that recently i just started kind of thinking and, and making up theories as soon as i heard that so anyways guys hopefully you did enjoy this gameplay let's shoot for 750 likes that would be absolutely awesome we'll post some sick gameplays if we can hit that and um i will see you guys later The corners clan, pub stompers is gonna harm you. Damn, what you gonna do about it? Losing ain't a part of the plan. Constantly killing you, you die and then you spawn in again. Cleaning you up over and over like some laundry, man. Montages is hotter than bonfires. If your squad survives it, run coming back. We do not advise it. It's more abulous the way we kill striking you. You ain't got that rapid spit. Who has been hyping you? 50 gun streaking, 50 times in one weekend. Keep on dumb speaking, you gonna have fun leaking. We're Wreck your gameplay, carnage be wrecking your game face. Got you looking uh disrespectful with that aim weight. It ain't over, we nuke the cobras with multiple strikes. That poison is swelling you up, that's a horrible bite. The screen's getting bright, that is the part that you like. So thank you all for coming to this party. Good night, yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, can't nobody pump stuff like Carnage. Ha. Nobody got game.